This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. So the city of Colorado Springs, Colorado, can apparently de- afford to design and create its own flag. Wow, look at the view here. It can't afford to... set up and maintain this religious looking marble-ish thingy. Actually, I guess it is possible that some of this was donated at some point. But what they don't have, apparently, is the ability to operate a second sensory technology. Roads are a flat thing, but the government just can't get it right. Over a year after the Springs Utility Company, uh, you know, damaged this road by traveling up and down it with their big vehicles, the city has sort of just left it to its fate and the neighborhood with it. The neighborhood where my folks live. If you uh, look at the nearby private road, however, on the same uh, you know block, well, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have any real, you know, damage that's unfixed. Are you on the council? What's that? Are you on the council? Uh, I'm the council's communications guy. Okay, thanks. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, it's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Oh, nice. Poor man's TV station. Cool. I guess I could ask you a question just as easily as them. Sure. I understand that your police department uh, detained a guy for just filming the, the police department. Do you support your police department doing something like that? Does the council Unless support that? I'm going to have to talk to the police's PIO about the operation center is down the battle a little ways, but... You can chat with them about that. Don't they work for you? I'll let you chat with them about that. Is it safe to do that? Obviously, a guy was just thrown in the back of a police car and his camera seized right. uh, because he was just ta- doing what I'm doing. Right. But he was doing it in front of the police. But I'm not going to speak for police. I work for city council as their communications guy. So if it's a city council matter or you're here to talk about the meeting today, then I can help you with that. But... I'm going to leave that to the police department. Well, I do have another question. There is a, um, I guess the, the Colorado Springs Utilities has been running up and down uh, uh, Manitou Boulevard uh, you know, a couple years ago, basically damaged the road pretty badly, and then just sort of left, and the city never bothered to repair it. Why, did, why do you governments have so much trouble with the second century technology of roads? Again, okay, so Springs Utilities is, is its own separate entity from us. Well, Colorado Springs... City Council serves as the utilities board. They have all their own communications people as well, so you have to go speak with them. But you're the ones that are responsible for the roads, correct? At least ultimately. Well, the, the city? Correct. Well, then that would be public works, which is under the administrative side of the city. So again, you can go talk to the you people. You can afford the all these departments, but you can't afford to fix a road? I don't have any answer for that. For well, don't you, don't, aren't you in charge of the works department? The city council? Well, they would be on, under the administrative side of things. So, again, you'd have to go speak with the proper people that can discuss that. You understand how bureaucratic this is? Have you ever considered, I don't know, going into the productive sector and doing something instead of directing people to bureaucracies for a living? Uh, I'm not directing you. I'm just trying to get you the best answers, and I'm not going to speak for something that I don't know about. All right. And what's your name? Ted. And what's your last name? S-K-R-O-B-A-C-K. Scroback. Okay, Mr. Scroback. I do appreciate your time. Yes. All right. Okay, thanks. Take care. If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com.